hello guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be trading again with pocket option and over here i'll be using um this strategy again i actually used this strategy uh, last week on pocket option and it was a very a powerful one so right now i'll be showing you again how perfectly you can make use of this strategy and i think um, some of you are actually complaining about the reversal of the candle. Um, it seems it's a C. You don't really understand what I mean by the reversal. But on this video, I'll take my time to explain in details what I mean by a perfect reversal in the candle. All right. Um, for those of you who just new to this strategy, um, we are actually using three indicators. The first indicator we're using is zigzag, and I told you the last time that the zigzag is actually a default set. I'm only using the zigzag to confirm the trend, either the uptrend or downtrend. All right. So you just have to be a default setting just put it up um the second indicator is in this course sarcastic oscillator and of course it's definitely going to be a very important um indicator in this video all right and this is the setting all right the key period right here is 14 the deep period is three the smoothing is three while the moving average is a wma all right so make sure you change it to wma on the start part here you just have to take all the line here and you're good so when you're done you hit save so the second indicator we're using is called rsi and i actually mentioned last time that i'm using the rsi as a confirmation of the signal i got from the sarcastic oscillator right so the rsi is actually default setting as well all you just have to do is to take the line on the start part here and when you're done you hit save so that's pretty much all you have to do so right now i'm going to put up my currency pair up real quick and i'll come back and explain in details how this work right okay guys so over here i've actually put up my currency pair up there real quick and um like i said earlier on i'm going to explain in details how this work all right but i like i used to say let's make sure that you watch all the trade i took each of my videos so that you can understand uh what's it called the explanation i made there because uh, each time i take a trade i have a different explanation for it um what's it called in total because each time i take a trade i have a different explanation to it the reason why i take the trade and the reason why i think it's the time for me to enter a trade all right so guys how this work is actually very very simple we are doing this on two minute don't forget that we are doing this on two minute um trade time and of course a one minute candle time frame i'm actually using this on heineke as she can do sorry I'm using this on uh, Wernicke Heineken as she can do. All right, so that's pretty much all the settings. So how this strategy works, like I said, is actually a very simple one, but you need to actually understand some uh, what they call ideology behind all of these before you can be well profitable with this strategy. All right, the number one thing we are looking at is to make sure that we have our sarcastic oscillator in the overbought position and make sure that the boat line is actually coming down on the downtrend. Have your confirmation of our RSI doing the same. Like I said earlier, and we're actually using the RSI as a confirmation of the signal we got from our sarcastic oscillator. So we actually expect our RSI to be doing the same thing that is happening with our sarcastic oscillator. Right? So get the same confirmation Information. Make sure that you have your RSI line in the overbought position coming down on the train before you decide to actually take a trade. But before you take a trade, like I used to say, you must have a very strong reverse candle. All right. And I think this is where some of you are actually getting it are wrong because over here we're not actually taking a trade based on the zigzag like i said this last time we're not taking a trade just because we have a strike of zigzag we're only taking a trade because we have a reversal in our candlestick the reason why i'm using our what's it called zigzag indicator here is to see when the market actually hit the point in the overbought position or the very down point in the oversold position i'm just using it to actually calculate my trend how strong my trend is in the market on my chart sorry all right so that's just what i'm actually using i was call my zigzag for so for example if i have a zigzag hit on here zigzag actually went from this bottom line here and actually hit this particular candle here so it actually indicated that this candle has reached the highest limit in the overbought position and there's a very strong there might be a probability of a reversal all right so i'm only going to take a trade if i have a strong reversal just like this all right so this is what I'm talking about. I'm not taking a trade on this kind of a weak reversal. I'm only taking a trade if I have a very strong reversal that going to give me a confirmation of downtrend. As you can see, when this reversal happened, the other or the other candle actually follows. All right, it actually indicate a very strong downtrend. All right, so the same thing is happening if I take the trade in oversold position. The only thing we need to look at is to make sure that we have our sarcastic oscillator in the oversold line going up on the trend. Confirm this with your RSI then make sure that you have a reverse can do that actually going on uptrend in a very strong position before you take a trade. I hope this is clear. 
So right now we're analyzing the market. So I just want you guys to stay posed. When I see a very good moment, I'm going to take a trade. I'm going to show you the reason why I entered a trade and the perfect explanation what you need to see before you take such a trade. I'm analyzing now, guys. So when I get a good moment, I'll come down and take a trade. Okay guys, I'm actually watching out this trade. So as you can see, we have a very great uh, downtrend right from this position. So over here, my zigzag actually indicates, you can see this is a very strong reversal. So let me actually enter this trade real quick before I start explaining. So over here, I have a strike of my zigzag on this particular candle. So it actually indicates that this is the last candle that was actually very strong in the downtrend. So the next candle is actually a very reversal one. So the reason why I actually stop watching this trade is the fact that I know that any moment there will be a reversal because this particular candle right here is getting weak. All right, it's getting weak and over here on a sarcastic oscillator right here. Over here, we've been having a downtrend from this position, but right here, there's a pick top, right? It's a very strong pick top here going up on the trend. The same thing as our confirmation of our RSI. I know that any moment I'll be having an uptrend in this particular trade. So that's the reason why I actually place in the trade. So guys, let's wait and see. And another thing is very important that you do this more than one minute. I actually said this last time. The reason why we are doing this on one minute, if you have your confirmation of reversal, it never really means that the market won't reverse on you. Or uh, sorry, it never really means that the market, um, the trend won't stay in a position for a while before it start following the reversal trend. All right. So it doesn't mean that as you see it reverse, that we keep reversing. Sometimes it happens, it keeps reversing, like it's keep following the trend, all right. But it's never really happen all the time. Sometimes, if you enter the trade, the market actually stay put in the position for a couple of minutes or, or slice it for a couple of seconds before it decides to start pulling back to the reversal position, all right. So, that's the reason why I said I should always do this more than one minute so that you can always lock up at the money at the end of the trend, it's very important. So, two minutes is what I actually recommended. So do not do this on one minute guys as you can see start going back on the reversal part and we just have like 11 seconds to close the trade. so we, if you actually did this on one minute we can actually lost start of this because this particular trend actually took time before it reverse before it actually following the reversal trend i hope you understand we had the money on that so guys i hope you understand this perfectly now so make sure that you're doing this more than one minute so that by the time What's it called? By the time you have a fully reversal, you can still be locked in in the trade at the end of the day. All right, a good one there. I'm analyzing again, guys. So when I get another good moment, I'll come down and take a trade. Okay, guys, a very good one here too. The reversal is already happening. Let me actually enter the trade real quick. As you can see, this is actually a very strong reversal. The market has been dropping right here. And if you actually check our sarcastic oscillator, you will see that um, do you have a very strong uh, picked up from this position in a very strong uptrend? The same thing with the RSI as a confirmation. But guys, um, the reason why I'm actually showing you all this is <clears throat> I want you to understand what I mean by the reversal, all right? If the market reverse, you're definitely going to see the picture, all right? As you can see over here, the only reason why I'm using the zigzag is to confirm the last time we have a strike of our zigzag, which is this particular market, uh, market here. So the next candle actually reverse a little, but we're not going to base our trade on this candle because it's not strong, all right? We need a very strong reversal before we enter a trade. And do not enter a trade if you're not getting the confirmation from either from your sarcastic oscillator and your RSI, all right? Make sure the confirmation of your signal is happening right here before you take a trade and make sure that you have a strong reversal before you enter the trade. It's very important. So guys, let's wait and see. This is gonna be a good one. We have less than 48 seconds to actually close this trade. So let's see how the trend is gonna play out in the next few seconds. All right, guys, so we have like um, six seconds to actually close this trade. Okay, a good one there. Win the money on that as well, guys. So guys, I hope you understand this strategy. I've been actually using this strategy for like, like more than, like more than two weeks now. Yeah, sure. And I can tell you guys, I really made a very good profit with this strategy and it was even very easy. So that's the reason why I want you guys to actually get this. Please, if you get this strategy, you're going to enjoy it. I swear to God, you're going to enjoy it. All right. 
so make sure you understand each time i take a trade understand what i'm trying to say if you don't get me it's not it's not bad for you to actually watch the video again all right but just make sure you understand what i'm doing here before you go to trade it's very important if you really get everything i'm saying the explanation over here on my trade you're definitely going to find it very useful at your own end i'm so confident on that i'm so confident on that guys so right now i'm analyzing again so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade but right here i'm having an uptrend here i'm going to take this trade real quick um, guys, I actually warn you against this kind of a trade. Um, last time that if you are having, uh, what's it called? If you actually check your stochastic, um, what's it called? Um, indicator, and you see that you have it in a very, uh, for a very long time in the oversold position, it shouldn't be a great moment for you to take a trade. Sure, I'm still standing on that. Please always make sure you stay out of such trade. But the reason why I actually entered the trade is the fact that over here I have seen that the market have picked up. If you actually study me very well, you see that I make sure that my sarcastic absolute retirement here actually gave me a very strong pull up signal, which hasn't ever happened since from this part as you can see it's trying to happen right here but it's come down again it's trying to happen right here it's come down again but i make sure that over here i only take the trade when i see a very strong one at the end of the day and i say that the reversal here is actually really strong the confirmation of my rsi to happened and i know that any moment i think that to me i just think that over here the market have picked up and they are ready to actually push up from this point since it has been happening right here because over here the market was called the buyer or should i say the seller is not really letting it this keep pushing the market down up to this particular point but i'm so certain that right here the buyer are ready to take it up from them because the confirmation of my what's it called sarcastic right here actually gave me the clear picture and the same thing with uh what's it called rsi so if you're finding something like this at your own end you can actually try to trade what's it called go ahead and take the trade but make sure that you have a very strong pull up that's that hasn't been happened before as you can see right here it hasn't happened before this is only when we have a very strong pull up on the chart all right so when that happened you can actually take a trip because it actually means that at the end they are what's it called the buyer have taken over the trend all right so let's wait and say think we're in the money on that right so in the money on that that's a very perfect one guys as you can see right here the buy have really taken over a good one there i've been analyzing again guys i think i'll be taking my last trade okay let me take this out i'll be analyzing guys so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade okay guys so over here i have a pull up a very good one here i'm going to enter this trade real quick so that i can follow the trend so as you can see right here we have a very strong hours uh, called reverse candle right here and if you actually check our sarcastic oscillator right here they're actually picking up in the oversold position the same thing is happening with our rsi so i'm so sure about this trade that the trend will be going up any moment that's the reason why i actually place in the trade all right so guys this is actually a very perfect moment here like um Another thing I want to mention is that always make sure that you are taking the trade in a very strong downtrend or very strong uptrend, all right? So do not take a trade when you see the trend in the middle, all right? When you see the chart in the middle, always take the trade. Always make sure that you're taking your trade in a very strong uh, either downtrend or uptrend, all right? And you can actually confirm that with your zigzag. So that's the reason why I'm actually using the zigzag. You can confirm the trend with the zigzag. You know that when the trend actually, when you have a very strong trend, you see the zigzag and where it actually reaches you. All right. So guys, let's make sure you put this in mind. Right, this is actually a very perfect one. We have less than 30 seconds to close this trade so that's it so guys i hope you understand how this works this is actually very perfect uh what's it called a very perfect strategy trust me guys this is a very perfect strategy so i think i'm actually clear enough about a reverser the kind of reverser some people actually mentioned that um you're gonna have a strike of a zigzag after the reverser it's not gonna possible right so if this reverse there's not how we can have a strike on it if this reverse all right it's only if it doesn't reverse properly that it actually going to bounce back before you have a strike of the zigzag on that again all right so that's the reason why i said i should make sure that you have a strong reverser all right 
so a good one there guys with the money on that so guys this one i'm going to stop on today's video i hope you like this again if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out the next strategy this is actually the last hours i got going to make on this strategy i want you guys to actually try it out at your own end please come back to the comment section and let me know if this works for you or if you're having any problem i'll be right there to actually respond to your uh, what's it called to your comment and actually answer to all your uh, questions all right so guys um like i said always make sure you actually subscribe turn on the notification bell because i'll be showing you another great strategy coming monday on pocket option another powerful new strategy guys so make sure you stay tuned and if you want to be part of the family make sure you use the link in the description join my telegram page so that you'll be the first to know when next when i'm going to post a video or if i have something important to pass across to you guys i love you guys and i'll see you on another video